Now to our GMA cover story, the Connor family, they're returning to television tonight without their matriarch Roseanne in the spinoff, The Connors. We'll speak with Sarah Gilbert and John Goodman in a moment, but first, Paula Ferris has a look at Roseanne Barr's exit from the show and where her TV family goes from here. Don't touch anything, I've got a system. <laughs> Tonight is the night when ABC's new sitcom, The Connors, makes its debut. Where do we plug it in? Yeah, yeah. The Roseanne spin-off, Sans Roseanne, will answer what happened to the family matriarch. <laughs> Roseanne lost her show after her tweet, which compared Valerie Jarrett, President Obama's former senior advisor, to an ape. Grandpa helped me pick a seat partner for the field trip. He picked the dark brooding one. Ah, point for my team. As for the spinoff, it will center around the hardworking Illinois family as a whole, hoping to bring the laughs and tears all from a blue collar lens. All while trying to move on from Roseanne, who led the show for a decade. Joining us now are Sarah Gilbert and John Goodman, two of the stars of the new spinoff, The Connors. Come on, welcome you guys. Yeah, we we look. It was a little quick setup here, so have a seat. A little quick turnaround and see these guys like a NASCAR crew in here putting Woo! the shop together That's for it. It's an impressive crew. Yeah, very impressive crew, and it's impressive what you guys are are doing here with the show. The Connors cannot wait to see it tonight. There's so many reviews from critics, which have all been positive, and everyone seemed to love the show. And Sarah, for you, you're you're, you're an actress on the show, obviously, but you're also a producer. So why was it important for you to move this show on to keep it going? Well, I think we all felt that we had so many more stories to tell. We've always been fortunate to be able to represent a working class family on television, tell stories through love, through humor, heartache and happiness. And we didn't want to stop doing that and giving that to our audience. So I think we wanted to come back and give it another shot. And, and, and obviously, it was so much about out there about Roseanne and, and what happened with her. So how was it being on set without her, with it with continuing on? The first week was uh, really weird. Yeah, it was, uh, it was like there was a death in the family. Uh, we, we really missed her a whole lot. There's uh, a lot missing, but uh, you know, we just tried to do our best to fill in, and we're just thankful for the opportunity to be able to do it again. And then, yeah. Oh, so no, I was going to say, I think, you know, we have been a cast for 30 years. It was emotional moving forward. But then I think what it allowed us to do is, you know, every almost every person at some point in their life redefines their family without the matriarch. And so it gave us a chance to look at how does it affect the family? How do mm -hmm. different people fill in different roles mm -hmm. and lean on each other? And to try to do it in an honest way because our show has always done a lot of drama along with the comedy. So we got a chance to put our own feelings into the show. And how, how were then been written out of the show? It's been a secret. No one knows. So give it up. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you at 8 p.m. tonight. Oh, yeah, okay, just, just bet. I thought she lost her car key. <laughs> well, okay, so, Dan, I, I have a question for you. With your character, how will he move on without his wife of 30 years? I, I know every week when I get a new script. <laughs> you figure it out then. Yeah, I figure it out then because they tell me they're very generous with uh, telling me what I'm doing. Uh, it's really difficult and difficult in real life as well. It's mm -hmm. just uh, there's a loss there. But uh, there are new people on the show, and it's we're all checking each other out to see how we're handling this. Um, it's really different. But it, but it seems to be that, that you guys still have that family atmosphere that you've had for the last 30 years to continue the show. Yeah. Sniping at each other. <laughs> yeah, it's important, part yeah. of family. Yeah, it is. It's, it is like a family, and we have those relationships. And, you know, I've said before, we have been together for so many years. It's not something you can really create on a new show. When mm -hmm. I have a fight with one of my siblings on screen, it's there's 
30 years of history behind it as an actor you just don't have to do very much homework so it's good if you're lazy because <laughs> it's all kind of built in <laughs> and what if, what about those fans who may be on the fence they may say well we're not so sure we're gonna watch this show um the, the spinoff what if, what would you say to them don't cost nothing <laughs> <laughs> Great answer. I got to say, that's a great answer. Do you have anything, Sarah? I know, it's tough to beat that. But, I, you know, I think just give it a shot. See what you think. See if you like how we've handled things and tried to move forward. But I think you'll find that we're still trying to tell the same honest stories. And, and hopefully you'll connect and, you know. And, and one, take one a the, ride. Take a ride with you. And one of the traditions of the show has always been crazy Halloweens, the costumes, everything else. That, is that going to live on? We, we do Halloween. It's a little bit different, but we definitely do it, and you'll, you'll have to tune in to check it out. But we've got some crazy costumes and definitely some of the Halloween spirit coming back. Yeah, apparently Dan spends two years of his salary on one day of the year. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell, you, I tell you what, I appreciate you guys spending your time with us this morning. Thank you. Really appreciate that. And you get all the secrets. The Secret Sarah talked about tonight, the premiere of The Connors at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, right here on ABC. Make sure you check it out because it is free.